We're here at the Marriott with my first guest, Mr. Jamal Adams. Welcome to E-Styles, Jamal. Thank you for having me, Riska. Yeah, so for those that don't know who Jamal Adams is, just give us an insight. Well, basically, I am an advocate for the development for the young guy in his mind. I'm an author and actually just uh, started an online podcast, so I'm technically a host. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk a bit about your podcast. So tell us about you're an author. How many books have you done so far? I've done uh, eight books and they're all published and available online. Amazon.com and all the, the uh, book sources around the world. So. And here locally too, right? Because I think Nigel's has it. Yeah, Nigel's has it. Uh, Austin's Bookstores has it. So. What are your books about? I have uh, different type of uh, some kids' books, some self-development books, and some uh, not religious, but basically books that reassure your interest. Self-help, yeah. So tell us a little bit about your podcast. It's very interesting, by the way, <laughs> the concept. Yeah, well, basically what I wanted to do was basically to create something whereby, you know, we can promote local talents as you're doing here on your show. But put a twist it. And you know alcohol stimulates conversation. So what we do, we promote local talents and locally consumed beverage at the same time. And, you know, we don't do, like, impromptu interviews. We would meet up and we would have a discussion about what you're okay talking about and what you don't want to talk about. And then I will send you a list of questions you can either add or subtract. And then we meet up, we have a good time, we drink, we eat, and we celebrate, talk. Yeah. Okay, and how do you find being an artist in Guyana? It is, <laughs> for, you know, personally, I... You know, the Guyanese culture, some of us don't respect the hearts, you know, because there's, there's not, not really any platform or any source whereby you can just focus 100% on your craft and make that into a career. You, you either got to be doing some side job or doing a permanent job and, you know, sacrificing your heart into a, 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 an hobby which is not fair for the artist. You know the irony in that, whereby you only get a couple of hours to do what you really love, and then you gotta focus on doing something that you like. It's, it's devastating. I, no, I completely understand, because I grew up in an arts home, yeah. and I saw it, like my mom, she absolutely loves what she does, but for her, she actually took the risk, and she's one of the few people that took the risk it and said, true. That is what I'm going to do. This is going to be my livelihood. Make it or break it. So I understand that is it's true. So tell us, for those young people that would be looking at this interview and thinking, I'm an arts person and I want to get out there, what's your advice for them? My advice is just be you. That's all I can tell anybody. It's just be you. You know, the same part that I took and made it when it comes to writing or when it comes to creating my podcast, it might not fit. The, the, it might not fit your uh, personality and it might not fit the type of things that you should do. Just be yourself, be persistent, be constructive, and don't think you know it all. Because that's a problem a lot of us has. You know, we think we know it all, but trust me, you can learn from the youngest child to the oldest person. Just be you, you know, have an open ear, take risks, and, you know, make that choice to take the chance. I like that. So, do you want to add anything before we go? Like, how can they view your podcast? Yeah, we are available on Facebook, Intoxicated, <laughs> the, Sip and Chat, the Sip and Chat Show, or you can check us out on our Instagram and every other social uh, platform that's, that's running Intoxicated the Show. Hey!